Well hi folks, I'm going to make three big, different big, very big vases today. So, I'm doing these videos because we're not making any money in the shop with this coronavirus thing going on, there's nobody about. So I suppose I better get on and try and make a few pennies off these videos. So, it's going to be quite a long video because I'm going to do three big pots and they might take about seven or eight, nine minutes each, but we'll get on. I'll do three in one go. Three different shaped ones and see how we get on. I might find it out to waffle through the length of this video, but we'll see. I've not made any of these for a long time, so. These are six pound balls of clay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna center it by coning it up. down it's the best way to center bigger bits bigger pieces of clay For the knuckle lift as always. Left hand inside, index finger knuckle with your right hand under the bottom. Push together and lift up and hopefully you get some clay up quite quickly. itself out by the time I get to the top. Just getting the needle tool out ready because it will probably be a bit bigger than so. So last lift just to try and get a little bit more height on it. to the clay inside a bit. So that's the final lift. Now I'll just shape it. I'll make a <coughs> sort of bellied out one. So I'm just going to narrow it in a bit at the bottom. Just 
flare it out and such. So I'll do the top first and then I'll finish off the shape of the, of the vase. So as you can see it's gone a little bit off at the top but I'll just nip that off. off the shape from the inside. I've ever made, but like I said I've not made any of these for a while. I'm going to trim it up tomorrow, I'll get a nicer shape to it, get rid of a lot of that thickness there and make a more refined shape. Just mop it out and we'll do another one, different shape and another one. If you're not all bored to tears by then. to another. Oh. So this one will just be a, like a trumpety flared out one. wider at the bottom this one. Just get a bit of thick stuff up first. And then using this part of my hand, just sort of pushing in against my fingers on the inside and just lifting up, forming a bit of a, a ridge and then just pushing it upwards and inwards just to get some thick stuff up from the bottom. Collar it in, 
before we do the first lift. And again, squeeze it in at the bottom. You always want to leave it narrower at the top when you're about to lift because it's, it wants to throw the clay outwards. So if you start off with it in, it generally goes up straight. So because if you start off straight, Try and lift it up straight, it tends to get wider at the top. So, again, another knuckle lift. Once you get the hang of this, you can really fly some clay up really quickly. Now I'm just going to squeeze it in carefully, form the shirt. So it's going to be a bit narrower in the middle and then flaring out at the top. Just a slight curve, nothing major. We'll finish off the top. to accentuate the curve. So that's wrap shirt done. popular sellers these this shirt because when you put flowers in they, they sort of spread out at the top as opposed to that shirt so two down no mistakes as yet probably maybe longest ever video Let's see if that attracts more viewers or not. We don't know. So that's number two. Move that out to one side. Not in the way. And we'll do the last one. I just hope I press record on my camera. There's one thing is that you do get pretty mucked up when you're doing these big pots, but it's not too bad. Alright, number three. Now this is going to be the simplest of the lot. Right-sided cylinder with a little bit of a flare at the top. I've just got my zip caught up in the clay. Again, same technique, 
centre in it, curl it up, bring it back down. going as straight as possible and then that should be done. Sided cylinder. That's it. Three big vases, three different shapes, one after the other. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click subscribe and like and comment whatever you want to do. That's about it folks.